hello everyone welcome to 10 in 18 you know series life career and business optimization lesson length and still learning in 18 years i'm going to build the lessons i'll be sharing about my around my favorite letter you know which is the letter p you know i'm going to build the 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 the, the lessons i'll be sharing ar around that so i've selected 10 p's you know that i believe that you know uh, you know encapsulate the lessons i've learned and some of the things i would like to share you know with our community and my colleagues you know our clients uh, you know basically what what about what i've learned in the last and i'm still learning over the last 18 years so these are the p's the first p is psychology you know i'll go into different explanation of each of the p's the second p is philosophy you know the third p is pursuit fourth is productivity the fifth one is practice sixth is preparation you know i have a deep deep connection with preparation seven is performance you know i'm very very performance oriented you know yeah i am a bit you know to the extreme on performance people you know very very crucial places you know and what i like to term progress okay so the 10 p's you know these 10 p's are you know i've just used them as a framework you know to really really share deeply some of the biggest biggest most powerful lessons like i said inside bending perception expanding life changing lessons i've learned in the last 18 years so let's dive in. number nine lesson number nine is places places your environment matters so much one of the things you can master is your environment or the places basically just to align with p you know your environment matters a lot you need to learn to pick the right point you know there are people that believe that they can so succeed in any situation that's really not true research suggests that you need to be in the right environment where your biases your competence your positives your negatives everything about you does align perfectly you're more likely to succeed in such environment because environment drops will you know this will like i succeed anywhere whatever environment can affect you can affect you a lot so pick an environment that will make you do what you can and should do let me repeat that pick an environment that will make you do what you can and should do sometimes I see people in our environment where we're trying to get them to fulfill their potential and they are resisting it because they have this ideology about how things should be. I said, no, you need an environment that will push you to achieve your potential. One of the best that ever happened to me was working in Star Trust Bank with a gentleman called Deji Shomoye. I keep saying it, what he did by pushing me to my potential through fight, war, is probably the best thing that happened to me because it instilled in me a work ethic that is unmatched. You know, even after 18 years, I can still outwork most people in my organization. And I dare say in our industry, you know, so the environment matters. The right environment that can shape you is important. One of the things you should look out for in your environment is the pressure to perform index. The lower the pressure to perform index in your organization, the lower the chances of you fully realizing your potential let me repeat that the lower the pressure to perform index in an organization the lower the chances that you will be the best you can possibly be there is no growth without pressure okay you need to be in an environment that pushes you that stretch you that make you do the things that you know you can and should do, okay? So the best gift you can give any human being is a gift of inspiration that will help them fulfill their potential. I hope with some of these lessons, I've been able to inspire you to push, you know, to rise above all the distractions, some of the people that are, that your list, some of the broke experts you're listening to on social media that can't pay their rent, that, no, that can't run a, a successful fruit stand, okay? You need to be careful. You understand? They, they are telling you that no, yeah, pressure is not whatever. No, the pressure is, is a privilege because it is an indication that you're doing something that matters. 
Let me repeat that. If you're under it, pressure is a privilege because it's an indication that you're stretching, that you're doing something that matters. So it's important that you be in an environment where you're pushed. Okay. And then you also need to expose yourself to the world, to a world-class environment. It will do wonders for your career, life, whatever. You need to keep on exposing yourself. It's very important. The places you go matters because the environment can. I've been in places where I've seen world class. I cannot settle for less. I just simply can't. You know, less is no longer good for me. So your environment had to your ability to dream big and do big things. Okay. So that's lesson number nine. And finally, lesson number 